And now, your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Sarah McKenna. Weather from where you live. Good morning. Well, we are continuing to track some snow, although now it's really starting to kind of dissipate a little bit. Benton County at one point in time was completely covered. Now you can still see there's just a little bit of snow there, still a little bit further down toward our southern county, seeing it maybe across the Covington area, no longer into Tippecanoe County or Montgomery County, though. These are going to be very, very light showers with very minimal accumulation, if any at all, because it's also very wet snow as it's falling, a lot of it melting as it actually reaches the ground. Take a look at how it actually moved in and you will notice that it was again a little bit more numerous there for a little while. We're going to continue to see possibly some light flurries early this morning, but I think after that that chance of snow is going to go away. You may recall yesterday that we had a chance of snow in for this evening. Even that's dis dissipated. More on that in just a bit though. As for your temperatures right now, we're seeing them hovering right around the freezing mark in our southern counties and a little bit cooler as we take a look to the north. We can see more around the mid to upper 20s. With the wind, it does feel a bit Bit cooler. The wind isn't too strong, but here in Lafayette, it feels more like 24 degrees without wind chill. Now, we do have a system that's continuing to develop out to our west. Fortunately for us, it looks like that's going to stay to the south, and that means for us that chance of snow that we had in the forecast is no longer there. In fact, live Doppler 18 futurecast will still show you rain and snow, but it's all going to be staying to our south. We're not expecting to see it come up across us quite as much. It looks like that snow is going to continue to stay south even as we head into early tomorrow morning. But for us, we're going to see the clouds clear out tomorrow. I'm going with partly cloudy conditions for your day on Wednesday. Not a bad day in store. We're going to continue to see a warm up on Thursday. It looks like we're going to be seeing more of the same. So for today, mostly cloudy conditions with a light wind, 47 degrees for your high. As we go to tonight, it's going to turn cold once again. The clouds are going to stick around as well as our low drops to 26 degrees for your day on Wednesday. A bit more sunshine than what we're going to see today as those clouds clear out. Otherwise, we're going to see a warming trend really start to begin. 49 for your high on Wednesday, and we're going to keep warming up from there. You notice that after that, we go into the 50s and the 60s by the weekend. Now, the 60s come with a chance of rain. I don't think it's going to be an all-day event, but Sunday and Monday, it looks like that chance of rain moves in across our area. Overall, still not too bad of a weekend ahead, especially when we compare it to what we just had last weekend. Take a look at today's